dun, dun, dun. What do we get? We get to see Memphis's vanilla swirl. <laughs> Memphis, are you showing off your vanilla swirl? She's like, guys, do you know I have a vanilla swirl on my back? It has faded quite a bit as you have gotten older, but it is definitely still there. Hello, Miss Eleanor. How are you? She's like, I know I'm pretty good. Yeah, you're pretty good? It's like, yeah, yeah, pretty good. And then there's Miss Kira over there. So, look it, we're live. Welcome to today's live stream with Gone to the Snow Dogs. We thought we would jump on here since we haven't been live since like February. And we've done a whole lot of stuff in between the last time we were live and this time. So we thought it would be fun to jump on here, do a little live stream, hang out with you guys if you've never been to one of our live streams before. Welcome. Basically what this is, is it's kind of a chill live stream. You get to see the dogs. Uh, Memphis will probably go into having a full-blown fit here shortly because, yeah, yeah, uh, there, yeah, because her, her lunch is, is ready. Well, it's not ready. It's got a little bit of time left. Uh, so she's probably going to have a fit as soon as she realizes that it's actually ready. But anyway, the way this works is... You guys can drop questions in the chat. Understand that I'm not going to be able to answer everything, but we'll do what we can to answer some of your questions. You can also do uh, your membership membership chats. If you're not a member, there's a link pinned at the top where you can join and become a member. And basically what that does is it just helps keep this channel going. And then, of course, there's the option for super chats, which those, of course, get read as well. Uh, Helen, speaking of member super chats, uh, Helen, thank you for your member super chat. Member for 38 months. It says, hi, Memphis, Kira, Eleanor, Jess, and Jamie. And yes, Jamie is here as well. He's uh, going to bring the dog's food in here momentarily when it when it's ready. And he's down in the chat. Blue and Aurora, 19-month members. Hello, Jess and the girls. <laughs> hi, from Ontario, Canada. Hey, we were just there. We were literally just there. <laughs> Jim says, back to the vertical YouTubes. Yeah, you know, if you want to be successful on YouTube, you kind of got to do what YouTube tells you to do. I actually really like the vertical lives because I don't have to set up a computer and 27 cameras and I can just have this in my hand and I, I think it's fun. But that's just me. That's just me and look at Kira's like, I think it is fun too. You look super happy, Kira. What do you think? Hello from New York. We were, hello from Hillman, Michigan. That's only like 20 minutes from here. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what we do for these live streams. It's just a fun little chill live stream. And like I said, if you guys are following us over on our vlog channel, which is youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs, you will have seen that we pretty much just got done with a month of expo travels. We were in New Jersey. We were in Virginia. We were in Toronto. We went so many places. And in a couple of weeks, we are going to Victoria, British Columbia, Canada for another pet expo. And then I think we'll be back to, like, our normal camping travel and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, if you guys have any questions about that, you can definitely sound off in the comments. And, like I said, I'll do my best to answer what I can. Um, if you didn't know that we've gone and done all those things, like I said, it's all up over at the vlog channel. The Canada vlogs are still going up over there. We're almost through to the end of those. Kevin, thank you for the super chat. Hello, Jess, Jamie, Memphis, Kira, and Eleanor. Um... I do have some footage from those trips that will be going up here as well. Like the dogs did a trip to Washington, D.C., and I have some footage that was filmed specifically for this channel of the dogs in Washington. So I'm going to do like a story time trip video talking a little bit about what we saw and what we did, how we experienced it. And I think I also have a bunch of footage from one of the other things we did. I don't remember. <laughs> you good, Memphis? You got that? She's like, I got to scratch, you guys. Somebody needs to scratch my ear for me. <laughs> you got it? Look at that goofy face. You got it? It's like, it's right here. This is where it scratches. Right here. No, that's your own foot. You don't have to bite it. Oh, oh. She's like, I don't know if you know this, but my food is in the other room and I am impatient. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. We'll be driving through Montana in a couple of, I keep saying a couple of weeks, but realistically, it's not that far away that we'll be leaving for this next massive trip. And I know on the vlog channel, at least a lot of you guys have been asking about the RV. Where's the RV? How come you didn't take the RV? What about the RV? It's still winter. I mean, yesterday alone, it didn't get above 43 degrees. Really? Are you going to play with Kira? How about, how about, yeah, you're waiting for your food. Um, yeah, so the RV is still there. We just haven't been taking it to the shows because it's still winter. So it's, it's cold and we don't want the water to freeze. <laughs> 
If it was a little bit warmer, we definitely could have taken it. And we thought about taking it to Victoria, but I think we're just going to take the Jeep and the trailer because driving fatigue is also a real thing. And uh, as much as I wish we could spend a month or two months driving across country, we do have things we do have to be back home for. So we're going to do that instead. Hi. Hello. How are you? Look at that with your pretty blue eye and your pretty coloring. What do you think, huh? What do you think? Did you have so much fun on this travel? Somebody asked if we're exhausted. Um, I'm not. The dogs seem to be doing really good. I think pretty much everybody did pretty good these trips. It, uh, yeah, it's a lot of work to go and do these, and it's a lot of work to drive, and it's a lot of work for all that. But, like, it's also a lot of fun, and we try to plan it so that, you know, we get there, like, two days before the event, and then we stay at least two days after the event, because that gives us kind of a chance to chill out, a chance to go see other stuff, a chance to decompress from the event, gives the dogs times to chill out. So we try to plan it so that it's not like a go, 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 go type of thing, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. Loved seeing the dogs in Toronto. Would love to see a recipe for homemade goldfish crackers. Uh, I think pretty much any one of the dog treats that we've done that are crunchy could be cut into goldfish shape. Really? Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah? What else? What do you think? Jasmine! Hi, Jess and everyone! Us, including Dan, do you remember me from the Edison New Jersey Pet Expo? I do remember you, Jasmine. I do. What? Are you trying to tell me something? We get the Memphis Barks? Yeah? Are you filing complaints with HR? Yeah? What? Oh, are you, are you gonna let it go too? Let it go, let it go, and she's off. Radical Gaming Nerd, missed you in Michigan last time, had the flu, see you in December, maybe with Timbits for Dan. I mean, we do always love the donuts and the Timbits. Yeah, so after the Victoria Expo, the next expo that we have is the Novi Michigan Pet Expo, which is at the middle of December. Um, between May and December, will we be at other events? I don't know. If we are, we will definitely let you know, or we'll post on our Instagram or our Facebook or, you know, all the places. Memphis is so ready for her, uh, for her food. You think it's coming? I, I don't think it's ready yet. She's going to tell us, though. She's going to tell us all about it. Melissa Willis, welcome to the pack. Thank you for joining as a member. Now you get access to some of the members-only vlogs, which I do have a couple more of those that should be going up soon. Um, it's one of the perks you get as a member. A couple of the perks you get, you get the little badge next to your name. You also get the emojis that you can, uh, if any of you that are members, you can drop them down in the chat so people can see those. And then we do upload like some bonus photos and uh, some bonus videos and things like that to kind of give back to the people that help support the channel by being a member and things like that. <laughs> what do you think? Rosa! Rosa, I uh, picked up those Oreos today. Glad you had a great time at the Expos. Was delighted to see you at both New Jersey and Virginia. We'll try to go to Novi, but depends on the weather. Yeah, I think the hardest part about the Novi Pet Expo this year is going to be the fact that it's in mid-December. And, you know, it's Michigan weather. You just you just don't know. It could be, uh, it could be, could be snow. I mean, I would like it to not snow, but I also would like it to snow. So I'm not really sure which one I would rather have. <laughs> uh... Dun, dun, dun. Any updates on the 3D printed nightlights? Uh, Jamie, do we have any updates on the 3D printed nightlights? <laughs> no, not yet. No, we've been so busy with travel. It's on our list of things to do, but uh, not yet. We did a pet expo in California in 2019. And... Uh, Kind of like we've said, if, if there's a pet expo near you, reach out to them and see if they'll invite us. I did have the Raleigh, North Carolina pet expo reached out to me, and they're like, we don't know why people are reaching out. You can definitely get yourself a booth. So I had to, I had to, I had to explain to the woman, I'm like, no, 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 that's, that's, not what, that's not what we do. I mean, it is what we do, but right. that's, that's not what we do. <laughs> I mean, I think she's probably telling you the same thing. That's not what we do. I don't what think... What we do is we sell boots to people who sell junk. We don't give them away. I was looking at the Raleigh Pet Expo, and they're like, our attendance is 3,000 people. And I went, oh. Like, the Toronto Pet Expo is, like, 35,000 people. How, yeah, how far is Raleigh from New York? Raleigh? North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, but, like, North Carolina... It's, I think it's, like, 
probably five and a half hours from New York. There's not like a North North Carolina. But Raleigh's a huge city. I'm surprised that their pet expo doesn't pull more people than three thousand people is not a lot of people. So they need us there. Well, we get That's what I told her. We'll a couple more. <laughs> That's what I was telling them. So. Where, where are you going, Alice? Yeah, she's like, oh, what about the potograph posters? Okay, so. I was hoping to get the new Potograph posters listed this weekend. The problem is going to be we're leaving at the end of the month. But what I think I might do is teach Greg how to ship them out. So I would leave a computer here, have it all set up for him. He would come over, print things out, and ship them out while we're gone. Otherwise, it's going to say, like, oh, it's going to take you two weeks to get this poster, which isn't necessarily true because we're back home. But I'm, try I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure it out. Raleigh is one one is a one horse town of a big city. It is a very big city, which is why I was surprised when they said that it was only three thousand people. Hi, Greg. I can do that. Good. I I think that might be what I end up doing. Like you would just have to come by the house, you know, once a week or so while we're gone, and maybe do that. How many minutes is left? Memphis will tell you. Memphis, how many minutes is left? Alexa. You have two minutes left on your fifteen minute timer. Let's see if she says it. Alexa, how how? One minute and 40 seconds left. Yeah, so that's 20 seconds off. When you asked, it was right. Oh, no, yeah. No. When you asked me, I was right. Memphis is gone again. But I love how Eleanor stands here like, I don't know what to do. I can tell it was almost done. Yeah, it's almost done. Uh, if she's being good, though, we'll make her wait, right? I mean, if she's being good, we'll make her wait, as long as she doesn't hurt herself. <laughs> <laughs> she's not screaming too much. Not yet. Uh Rosa said, saw that Memphis's liver levels went up, unfortunately. Are there plans to do anything different than what you're currently doing? Yeah, I have a, another supplement that I might start her on. So I had her tested this time in between. I put her on the um, liver tonic, and this time she was tested in the month off of it. So she's on it for two months, off of it for a month, and then on it for two months. Next time around, I think I'm going to have her tested while she's actually on it. and Because the last time she was tested, she was on it, and it was down in the 800s. So I'm wondering if I might just keep her on this liver supplement long term, which according to the, the people I talk to, I can do that. So we'll see. Radical Gaming Nerd, welcome to the pack. Do you, do you, wow, well, Memphis, I don't think you're supposed to be jumping like that, ma'am. Do you want to get their food or you want me to do it? I can do it. All right. You want me to do it? Yeah, you can. Oh, and... Oh my goodness. Look out! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness, it's happening! Get back. Whoa, Memphis Bell. Memphis. You wouldn't Memphis. you would never know that that hey. dog blew out hey. her knee. Sit. Okay, you don't have to sit. Good girl. Hi. Kira Good next. Down. Kira. Kira, your your placement's way over here. Turn around. It's like I could do anything. Sit. Alexa, stop. Turn around. Okay. I think I almost got it in place. Back up. Get back. Good girl. <laughs> All right. Right, can you, you get doing? Eleanor to leave it like I can? Leave it? You gotta make her give lay down paw. first. Yeah, give me that paw, yeah. Make her jump. 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 Good girl. Hey. <laughs> jump. Good. Oh yeah. my goodness, that butt wiggle. Oh, there's a little extra jump. Okay, hold on. Lay down. Just tell her. Tell her now. She's so good. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I, I, I she's like, Dad, my food's not on my placemat. I know you were just a little close. Okay, I won't. I hear you. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna wolf it down real quick. If, if she thinks it, you're gonna take it away, yeah. she will. She'll try to wolf it down. Carissa, welcome to the pack. Thank you for becoming a member. It won't take them long to eat their dinner because their dinner is a little bit smaller than their breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure because she's gonna take a little bit longer because yeah, we gave it to her last. I watch all of your videos. Uh, Memphis is very energetic for a dog at her age. Must be good food and exercise. Yeah, she does sleep a lot too, but when she wants to be crazy, she's like, Dad, you left the gate open. I'm going to go check and make sure there's nothing in here. Yeah, Yep, got to check for the crummies. Um, I don't know where I put the harmonica, but I'll have to find it. Uh, I mean, I know... Kira and Eleanor are going to WWF after lunch. Yeah, I know. That always makes me nervous. So maybe, maybe we'll help them to not WWF after the... No wrestling after you eat your food. Is there a hockey game tonight? There is. There's Sweet. a lot of hockey games. Tonight. There's a lot of hockey games tonight? But what I, what, what's been determined is it really doesn't matter until you start losing. <laughs> it, well, I mean, yeah. 
As long as you win, or as long as we win all of our three games, and even if, I think, I think Pittsburgh has to lose. You hear that, Dan? Pittsburgh has to lose. <laughs> have to lose one, and the Washington Capitals have to lose one. We're playing the Leafs tonight, though, so I don't. That's yeah. tonight, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we oh yeah, Greg win. just we said it to too. Win. Yeah, we have to win all three. Our last two games should be easy, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, so. ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Crazy hey, um, Nala, nineteen months. Thank you for the. the you didn't say anything, but thank you for being oh, a member. All right. <laughs> I was thinking uh, last year when we were the Red Wings were in the playoffs. Uh, it was like ten games before playoffs, and we were already ruled out. Yeah. We just couldn't. We didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so we did better this year than last year. There's still a chance. Shannon said the Caps are going to win. Sorry. <laughs> All the way or just win? Just, the, just, the, the Shannon just says <laughs> the Caps are going to win. Yep. Sorry. All the way, yep. Rosa says, as a Caps fan, you since know, I live in VA, I do not want the Caps to lose one. <laughs> you know, if they, if they make it into the playoffs, I'll root for them just because we'll be there. Uh, yeah, right. Right. Uh, uh, I don't know who I'll root for if we don't make it. We'll we'll see. Go Leafs, go! Oh, we started the hockey chat. Now it's a hot. Now it's like go Penguins. Right. Now we've started the hockey chat. I do love when we talk about hockey. How many people will jump in and actually talk about their teams? Like that's always fun to see because I really don't care. Sports I'm are just interesting. I'm just glad that people still like hockey. Right. <laughs> uh, ooh, a Blackhawks fan. Sports are better than politics. <laughs> Sports are better than politics. Uh, um, I don't know if Squirrel Friend has been here today. Does, oh, did Squirrel yeah, Friend get around. fed this morning? I uh, know. It's, it's windy. There is no peanuts out there. Yeah, it's windy. <laughs> and yesterday there was 60 mile an hour winds and that poor little dude was out there in the rain. <laughs> he was munching them peanuts. The big gray squirrel, the big boy gray squirrel was out there. I thought uh, it was the mama. But... This morning we saw the kitty cat walking around. Did you? Yeah, white paws or yeah. socks or whatever. We're going to have to name her Socks. <laughs> I'm naming the other one Tommy because he's a big old Tomcat. I haven't seen that one Oh, yet. my gosh. He's huge. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. huge. How come? How come I can't donate memberships anymore? <gasps> uh, I have no idea. I didn't turn it off. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe YouTube yeah, did a thing. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, excuse you, Piggly Wiggly. No school friends in the back or in the front yard. Huh, when I click mine, it doesn't show that as an option either. Weird. Uh oh. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's a vertical live? Oh, Emma wants to know, Jamie, have we seen any bunnies on our walks yet? So the weather has just gotten nice enough that we've started walking the dogs more regularly again. And um, unfortunately, not yet. We haven't seen any bunnies yet. Doesn't mean that they're not out there. We just haven't seen them yet. Oh, yeah, they're out there. I've seen them. Yeah, they're definitely out there. <laughs> She's like, well, that's my orange ball, Dad. That's my orange ball. Membership right. gifting shows for me. Huh, weird. It doesn't show for me. That's weird. You got your ball. No bunnies yet. Doesn't mean there's no bunnies. I just haven't. We haven't seen them on our walks yet. We did see a raccoon uh, in the backyard the other day. So well, now we're like, well, we saw the raccoon and the two cats. So yeah, now we're. But we saw them on the camera. I mean, yeah. not necessarily in real life. Right. They, they turned on the lights, so we knew they were Yeah, out. we knew they were out there. Is hockey no. a big thing in America? I always thought it was a big thing in Canada, but not so much in America. Coming from an Australian. Um, hockey is much bigger in Canada than it is in America. Hockey is popular, is popular in the Midwest. I mean, it's popular across America, but it's really popular the further north you are. Which actually, did you hear that the Arizona Coyotes which, might be getting moved to Salt Lake sense. City? Hockey's probably not very popular in Egypt. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, Florida, there's like, two Florida teams. But I guess most people from Florida are... Like Switzerland or Poland right. or Russia. Obviously, they're huge and cold. Your, your dog wants something. I can tell. You can't play with it. You just ate. But there's a lot of other countries that still partake in yeah. hockey. Yeah, hockey's pretty popular here. Kira, what are you doing? She's like, Dad, I would like to play with my toy. <laughs> Kira, you just ate. I was going to say, yeah, you just ate. Literally just ate. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. I would still like to play with my toy. <laughs> 
How's your sister-in-law doing? Oh, a couple of people have asked that. So, um, quick little update on my sister-in-law, my brother's wife, Danielle. She's the one with cancer. Most of you guys already know that. Um, she has a scan on Tuesday. So, we're hoping that the scan shows that everything's gone. That's what we're hoping. We should know more at the end of this week. But if you guys are thinking about her Tuesday, we'd appreciate it. It was really windy on the west side of Michigan yesterday as well. My nephew's trampoline ended up in the pond. <laughs> uh, Jamie almost drove into a tree that uh, fell down over the road. Yeah, and, that was interesting. And our power went... I didn't almost drive into it. But okay, well, yeah, but you know It was I mean. very confusing. It was an interesting story. Yeah, so the news I read this morning said we they clocked our highest wind at 57 miles per hour. 57? Yeah. I figured, I mean... What I was telling, uh, I think it was Greg, I'm like, when I was driving down the road, and there was a significant amount of traffic all around, but it was really windy, and the rain was coming down and crazy, but you could see the tire tracks of everybody driving, you know, in front of you. Right. And, like, I swear, every 50 feet, there was these tire tracks that just went way over <laughs> the side of the road, and then back into the lane, and you're like, oh, that person went, almost went off the road, and then we made it, like, 50 more feet, and there was another... And I'm like, people are literally just uh -huh. blown. They're like, oh, that was way stronger than I thought. It was definitely but windy. If you're not holding on to the wheel, that'll push you all around. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. Jamie saw the tree that went all the way across the road. Our power was on and off all day yesterday. Jamie's dad lost power at like 7 o'clock last night, and it didn't come back on until yeah, 10 o'clock this morning. I picture of the pine tree down in the middle of the road because it... It was a backcountry road, but it was paved and, you know, shoulders with mailboxes and people's right. houses, you know, but it was a big pine tree, and it was almost all the way across the road, but I didn't want to stop because the wind was still really nasty, and I had a lot more road to travel, and I'm like, yeah, if this tree's down, I don't want more trees to come down. I, I missed it, so I don't know who got them, but Nancy and Rosa. Nancy gifted one membership, and Rosa gifted gifted 10 memberships oh, i don't do know who got them because on my phone it didn't pop up and show me um i might be able to Eleanor's. scroll oh is this it did i find it maybe does, does kira's so, look like the black and white one Kira's is the tan one. Eleanor's is the black and white one. But one of but one of the I was gonna say, but Eleanor has to be out there. They can't be in here together. Uh, so Nancy's went to Cat Cat Calf, I think it says, and then Rosa's went to Diana Lee, Sarah Jameson, Teresa, MJ Husky Love. Hey friend, Megan Berry, Shannon F Vanth, Annette. And Jim Johnston rules the world. Oh, and Heather B. Those are the people that got the gifted memberships. <laughs> if you guys don't know how gifted memberships work, gifted memberships are completely random. Other people can gift them and give them out to you guys. Uh, and then, oh, that, I was going to say, that's not Kira. She went on the other side first. Oh, okay. Eleanor won't play with it for as long. No, Eleanor doesn't. She just chews on it. Yeah, El She's Eleanor. She's like, I got it. Somebody says, why is Kira locked up? So when we play with these toys, they get really, really, really excited. So they have to take turns yeah. when they play with these toys. Because otherwise, they will seriously clash in, like, clash, crash into each other. Wait. Apparently, I won the, apparently, I won the pony. Thanks, Pottyus. <laughs> uh, Jim, now you can go watch any of the membership vlogs that you, or membership videos that you may have missed. You have to put that in slow motion to catch that one. She yeah, did she get it? So she's the best right there, right there. Now pull it real slow. Watch Eleanor's body. Watch her. <laughs> Nick, thank you for the super chat. Hi, all good thoughts being sent for your sister-in-law. Thank you, my friend. I really, 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 really appreciate all of you guys. Um, let's see if she'll do it again. Oh. <laughs> there, pull it real slow. Real slow. Oh, she's gonna take it. Real slow. Ah! What? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Eleanor and Kira play so differently with these. So differently. Because Eleanor is like calculated. Eleanor's like, if I move real slow and it moves real slow, I can pounce on it like a cat. Ready? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I like <laughs> Okay, can we let your sister play with it a little bit? <laughs> You just chew on it. And we also, um, we have two different ones of these, which actually they're backwards, but 
Uh, Kira had hers first, and Kira's is tan and white. And so when we got another one, we got one for Eleanor that's black and white when we found out that she liked it so much. Technically, Kira's should be the black and white one, and Eleanor's should be the tan and white one, but, you know. Well, I think that way we would both remember. Is Memphis 11 or 12 now? Memphis is 11. Are you ever going to do a morning routine again? I have it written down to do one. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> can, you, can you hear Kira? Uh... Uh, oh my gosh, wow, I used to watch you so long ago that I forgot my password and I had to start a new YouTube. How's everything? Did you move? Uh, we moved like a long, 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 long time ago. Look at, there's some tipper tappers. Oh, and... Your sister saw everybody get a treat. Oh, she that's why she too. was tipper tapperin'. <laughs> Oh, um, hi. Should Jeez. we pick up the bowls for Kira? Yeah, so she does it. Look at that tail go. She's like, Look at that. I'm gonna get it, Dad. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, Dad. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Oh, my tricky, just like a trick here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> she slid right off there. She slid right off. Like, I was so Brittany, excited. thank you for the member super chat. Oh, Memphis is tippy tappy. She definitely got tippy tappy. Oh my goodness! Don't go through the window. Yeah. Kira, you should probably watch where you're going. Like, I am so excited right now. This is my day, and um, you know, normally we would let we would let Kira go first, and yeah. then Eleanor because probably this Kira sat yeah. there and watched the whole time. Just look at her. She's like, Dad, make it move. You know? She cannot um, stand it when it stays still. She don't mind. She she'll play with it a little bit, but she's she's more apt to say okay. Yeah, she'll let it go because she wants it to move. She's like, hey, it didn't move. Now it's moving. Now I'm gonna get it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's like, I got it. I win the game. It's mine now. It's mine now. You need to take the rope toys to your expo. We have one, uh, an extra one. But oh my gosh, this would drive every dog crazy. Right. Can, can I literally make sure you everyone? Run in a quick little circle, and then that's it. I love your doggy treat videos. Yay! Okay. You just, you just eat. Speaking of, I gotta make a birthday cake for Memphis <laughs> okay. still for her birthday, even though it's way after her birthday. I'm still trying to figure out what to make. Whoa! I stole it. Yes, we still do all the pumpkins. Get it, Kira. Jump up there and get it. Get it. Get it. Yes. Good job. Jim says, I was so impressed on how Kira performed on TV. I thought she'd tell you to fluff right off. Yeah, so Kira, like all the dogs, they are quite different when they're by themselves. Kira loses some of her sass when she's by herself, and I think it's because she knows she's the center of attention, and that's what she wants, which I always find really funny. She actually did really, really good, and I chose her for the interviews because it was so close to her birthday. And I knew she would do a couple tricks for me. I definitely could have taken Eleanor and she would have done more tricks. But oh, I was happy with what Kira yeah. did. Yeah. And it was her birthday, you know. And she's got that middle child syndrome. So she's got to go have some fun and do some fun things as well. A tug of war, <laughs> huh? war? Uh, tug of war? She's like, mm, no, I don't want to do tug of war. Uh, Kira just turned five years old in March. March 13th was her birthday and she just turned five years old. I didn't take Memphis to the interviews because both were like an hour car ride to get there, both of them. So it was an hour ride there, an hour ride back. So that would have been two hours in the car from Memphis, plus doing the news interview. And we had the whole days of expos, so we were letting Memphis get as much, as much rest as possible. Plus, when it comes to like doing tricks and things like that, Memphis can't do as many as she used to anymore because we can't make her do her jumps. So... Um, I thought it would just be easier to mm, take Kira Miss Kira. Kira. She deserved it. It was closest to her birthday. <laughs> uh, when was this? Um, the news stuff was when we went to Virginia and New Jersey. They can both be seen on the vlog channel. I should upload both of them to here as well so you guys can see them. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll get the clips and I'll upload a video on here as well showing Kira on TV so you guys can see it if anybody here hasn't seen it. But oh, it yeah, is on the vlog channel. Yeah, I'll, ma I'll maybe I'll do that. I'll make a little video and upload those clips. But if you want to see them, they are on the vlog channel as well. At least bits and pieces. I didn't upload the full ones, but I could upload the full ones on this channel. 313-2019 is my son's birthday, too. He just turned five as well. That's pretty cool. When are you guys going to start camping? When it's not 40 degrees outside. Um, 
It was cool. I got to stand by the big robot cameras. Yes. Yeah, so both times we went and did the news stuff, Greg came with me, which was awesome. So we did get some footage of like the news studio and things like that. Yeah. Um, Dan, I don't know if you're still here, but will you message me and remind me to do that? I'll put that video together because I, I do think that would be fun to show everybody and maybe talk a little bit about the experience, you know, kind of differently from the vlog. I think that could be a lot of fun. If you guys are interested in seeing it, I'll make a video of it over here and upload it and talk about like the experience, how it went, you know, some behind the scenes part of it, not just the vlog style of it. <laughs> oh, and somebody asked where Memphis is. Memphis is right here. Whoa, it's Dan. Yeah, Dan's here. He's down in the in the chat. He's helping moderate uh, along with Greg and, and Jamie. Um, <laughs> Dan, I don't know if you saw this one. Be Better Blog says, hi, Dan. I love your editing skills. <laughs> Ella's your superstar now. Ella, I mean, Eleanor really is a pretty big superstar. Memphis just had to look cute. Memphis is pretty good at looking cute. And Kira has to upload the Shelby standards. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, Kira definitely is the dog that gives me the most um, sass and trouble like Shelby used to. What's really funny is I was telling Jamie this this morning. A lot of people compare Eleanor to Shelby. Eleanor really reminds me of Memphis when Memphis was little. And... A lot of it has to do with, like, how clingy she is, how she always has to know where I am. She's also starting, you know, she's two years old now, and she's also starting to get quite sweet where she really wants the snuggles, and she lays in people's laps. So she's starting to get those little bit of uh, Memphis qualities as well. I love the tipper tappers. Hey, baby girl, you want to give us some tipper tappers? What do you see out there? Does a neighbor truck go by? She's like, oh, my goodness, the neighbor truck just went by. We went for a walk the other day, and we got to see Honey, and we got to see... Who else was out there? Oh, Honey's got a new neighbor dog friend that was in her yard, so we got to see all of them. <laughs> uh. Dan is... Chipmunks and squirrels and birds. We did see chipmunks and squirrels and birds and the neighbors and other people. Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo, Michigan was so windy yesterday we lost power. Yeah, our power went on and off all day yesterday. My internet was going in and out. I was kind of worried for today because of how crazy everything was. Like the power company put out a big thing this morning. Um, as of a little while ago, there's still people around us that don't have power. So um, your dad just sent me a message, but I don't know what it says. <laughs> um, don't let me forget to check it. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so... Now I'm nervous because your dad just sent me a message. <laughs> uh, you should message your dad and, and ask him what he wanted because I can't read it. Um, are you making any more plushies of the dogs? There should be at least one more Eleanor coming. And then we might go a different route with some of the ways we've been doing plushies. I really want to find a way to make them more affordable for you guys because they're kind of, I, I think they're a little bit expensive. Our power flickered but stayed on. It's good to be on the hospital grid. Oh, right? Yeah, our power flickered, went off a few times, came back on a few times, went off a few times. My internet kept going on and off. So, like, we shut down a lot of our electronics. And we had game night last night, so we just played games and watched the power flicker and <laughs> hoped none of the trees would fall down in the yard. It was crazy. It was definitely crazy. Didn't... Hi. Hello. What are you thinking? Uh... What does it say? Uh, I noticed most of my messages I send don't have the dog by them, but I recently saw where the money was taken out of my account for a membership. That you have to talk with YouTube about. I don't control any of that. And then make sure that you're looking at it for this channel and not the other channel. I had somebody the other day said they paid for a membership, and they were confused, and it was actually the other channel. Are you planning on doing pins for Shiloh, Shelby, and Oakley? Yes. Actually, I just went through a bunch of photos yesterday. I am going to do pins for them as well. Um, it takes about six weeks to get them done. So I am going to do them. They'll probably launch in a month or two. But yes, there will be pins of Shiloh, Shelby, and Oakley so you guys can complete your sets. Are you planning on going to Florida again in the future? Um, so far, we don't have any invites to Florida. So... F. Van says, do the gifted memberships get the Discord benefits? Yes, if your Discord is linked to YouTube, it, you will get access to the uh, members-only part of Discord. As long as you have your YouTube channel that has the membership linked to your Discord, it should be automatic. 
gotta collect them all. Yes, I can complete my collection. Yeah, me too. I, I couldn't do just the three dogs and not do all the dogs. I have some other new artwork coming of the dogs soon as well that I'm super excited about that will also eventually be made into pins once these pins get sold out. So there will be more pins. I like the idea of pins because there's something that is kind of easy to make and affordable you know like there's such a low price point like we still make a little bit of money on them but there's such a lower price point for people i really like that and who doesn't love collecting pins are you staring at the do you are you staring at the reflection or are you looking for oh, all right do you want to show everybody what you're looking for or are you actually looking for her pins are permanent yes yes is this do you want do you want her out of here all right, you guys, I'm going to give Kira her other favorite toy that hides in the drawer because if we don't hide it in the drawer, then Eleanor tries to get it. You ready for her? Here's your baby. You want your daughter? You got her. Real gentle. Gentle. That's Kira's baby. Kira's got her baby. <laughs> and yesterday she opened, well, she tried opening up that drawer on her own. She did? She opened up the wrong one. <laughs> I should move it down one drawer. It's right there. You got it. I might have confused her. Nope. There she goes. What? Oh. oh push it again. Push it for her. Push it for her, Dad. Push it for her. Oh, there's the head tilt. Is that your toy? This is like, mm, maybe. Can you sing? You want to sing with Rudolph? That was it? She's like, meh. That was like when I was at the expo and she tried taking that guy's apple. Yeah. <laughs> and then we gave her the apple and she's like, no, I don't want it. I'm like, you just tried taking it from her. Now we're going to give it to you and you, you don't, don't want it. Want. Uh, Is that who you're going to be, Kira? Kira. <laughs> Kira. She's like, I am the happiest doggo on the planet. Whoops. I don't know what no, I just said. You can check it out. Yeah. Are you, yeah. yeah. Oh, is she coming back for it? I I gave it to you, Kira. It's right here. Oh, she keeps seeing the reflection of my phone. Yep. Kira, you want her? No, it was the reflection of your phone, huh? Yeah. You want her? Yeah, sing. Yep. Sing. Sucks, sing, Kira. Sing. Oh, woo, 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 woo. You want to sing? Eleanor, sing! Sing! Yeah? Sing! Sing, Eleanor, sing! Sing, Kira, sing! 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 Yeah, it's pretty loud. <laughs> yeah. Memphis was going at her. Memphis like, was going. To... Memphis was going at her. I, I heard your woos, Memphis. I have to get Eleanor alone. Eleanor will woo alone. Yeah, but the thing is, is one, as soon as Eleanor woos alone, the uh, Kira pipes in, and then they just go to Woo Town. Yeah, she <laughs> wooed alone when we were at the expo. Yeah, I got her to keep right. going and yeah, keep going and keep Kira going. To, yeah, right. Kira was like, "No, thank you." Oh. Is there peanuts out there? Is he out there? <laughs> he's not out there. He could be. Could be, but he's not. Is he out there? Mom, make him show up. I know, right? Right. Dad, put the peanuts out there. <laughs> <laughs> make, make the squirrel show up. He, he's not out there, I'm telling you. He's, he's not out there. Bud says thanks, Jess. He can't hear now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, Somebody else said, I'd like to hear the singing as a ringtone, and I'm like, the only <laughs> ringtone I hear is them singing. Right? There's this weird ringing in my yeah, ears. That's a ringtone. Weird. 
it's it, somebody wrote BRM bug said it's fine. I can I can hide the or I can find the volume control. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ASMR a ruse. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. What was that all about? Do you, what? Wow. What do you want to play with? Look you at you, feisty. Are you mad because everybody else got to play with a toy? You Do you need your dragonfly? Dragonfly? Or the other one. The yeah. other one's on my desk as well. But you better get them other dogs out of here. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick also gifted five memberships, which they, those don't show up on my phone for some reason. But thank you, Nick, for gifting some memberships. So five more of you got memberships. Yeah. Oh, look at Memphis's face. She knows. She knows. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She's like, Dad, that's my toy. That's my toy, Dad. I said, like, get Eleanor away from there. Dad, that's my toy. Everybody else got to play with their toy. Now I get to play with my toy. Get it, Memphis. <laughs> get it. Oh. She won't leave it there. She'll throw it around. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Oh, it's yeah. under the bed. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Get it. Get it, Memphis. Oh, it did uh oh, are the batteries done? Uh it needs to be um it needs to be charged, I think. Oh no, she's in air jail. So there's a trend going around on TikTok when you pick your dogs up to see what they do and they call it air jail. I wanna do it with each one of the dogs. It's air jail. It's air jail, yeah. yeah. I think it's funny. Nice. Get it, Memphis. Get it, Memphis. Get it. Get it. She's getting ready. I was gonna say, <laughs> she gonna throw it. Yep. Get it, Memphis. Oh no, she turned it off. No, that's still. Yeah, I don't know. The battery might be nice. Eleanor, I'm gonna pitch you out of here. <laughs> Eleanor's like, but I really like this toy as well. You gotta let Memphis better. play with it. It might be. No, you both can't go at it at the same time. That's why we don't play the toys together. Yeah. You gotta take turns. Go, Memphis, go. Go, Memphis, go. Go, Memphis, go. Go, Memphis, go. Air jail has been around for forever. Yeah, but I didn't know that's what people called it. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious when I saw people doing it. I'm like, oh, we do that to our dogs. Eleanor. Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. I say, look out. She's gonna knock know, right. As you say, she's gonna hit you with it, L. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry, Memphis. Yeah, I I don't remember if it's a um, USB C charger or I not. This is batteries. Okay. Is it? Okay. Yep, that one's batteries. Okay. I have one that's that's a USB charger as well. Do Kira and Eleanor still play with the ball launcher that you tested a while back? Yes, Eleanor thinks that that ball launcher is like the coolest thing ever. We do still play with that um, out in the backyard. Uncle Yukan said, it's not jail, it's a hug. You are correct, my friend. Air hug. <laughs> I like that better. What are those trays? What are those? I assume you mean these. Those are my uh, doggy placemats. So they're little silicone placemats that I put their food on because sometimes they can be a little bit messy and because this is a carpet in here. Um, I bought these not too long ago. I actually bought them initially because they were sliding their bowls around on the carpet. And then I'm like, oh, they kind of work to, if they make a mess, it stays on the placemat instead of on the carpet or the rug. I guess it's a rug, not a carpet. <laughs> do they still do that white thing on the string? Yes, and actually in a vlog that I have coming up, we got a new one of those. Hey, will you bring me that black bag that's in there? Oh, I don't know if I have my affiliate links for these, though. Um, the chase thing behind you. It's literally right behind you. Um, uh, <laughs> Look at Memphis is like, Dad, did you put batteries in it? Oh, it's so fast now. So fast now. She's just chucking it. <laughs> is it so fast now? It's like, I'm throwing it, throwing it here, throwing it there, throwing it here, throwing it there. Uh, so, well, Memphis is playing with that real quick. This is the new Swift Paws Chase that's in this bag, which you guys will see in a vlog in a few days. Yeah. It's got the little motor. Look, I was going to say, show Kira the flag. She'll freak out. 
Oh, it's on. I forgot it's actually on. The... <laughs> Memphis. Uh, I just tried that in the knot for you. Oh, okay, that's fine. There's way more string. Are okay. you coming to check it out too, Memphis? Memphis, you don't even like this thing. She's like, yeah, but I'd like to check it out. All right, you checked it out. She's like, back to my toy. Back to my toy. All right, we'll put this away. But anyway, yeah, that's the swift pause. That's what that is. Um, and we got the newest version, which that's is good. which is kind of nice because it's a little bit more of an affordable style version. So if you guys have been looking to get one, I have an affiliate link for it. I have no idea where it is, but I do have one somewhere. <laughs> oh, they're like, where did that toy go? That toy has left us. Did the live just begin? No, it started 45 minutes ago. And we'll probably go for 15 more minutes. And then I gotta go, like, get stuff for dinner. Well, you be careful. She'll play with it, but it's not fair if the other dogs are in here. Well, who, who's fastest? Yeah, get yeah. yeah you did it! Yeah, All right, let's see if Memphis will play with it. This is Memphis's dragonfly toy. She doesn't like the toy that the oh yeah, she doesn't like the toy that the other dogs have. Get it, girl. Look at you. And this is how Memphis plays. She's like, mm, that was fun for two seconds. As you say, yeah, sometimes you really got to get it close to her. Sometimes she's confused why everybody's in there. Oh, there it is, Memphis. Get it. Get it. Get it. Sometimes you got to make it move really fast for her to pay attention. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Yeah, good job. Good job, you get that dragonfly. Get it, Memphis. Get it. And that was it. <laughs> She's like, there was my two seconds of play. She's like, whoa, that dragonfly is flying. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, it stopped moving. You could totally catch it. Get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fun for you. Memphis says, that's my favorite toy, besides the cat toy. Wait, that's a cat toy, too. This dragonfly, let me see it. I have not been able to find another one of these. Somebody sent this to us forever ago, and I've been looking for another one because this one is starting to get a little bit beat up. You just make your own. It's fishing parts. No way. You gotta find it. Yeah, good yeah, catch! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get him. It's like, I caught a dragonfly. I caught it. Caught his dragonfly. Yes, I caught it. I caught the dragonfly. Good job, Memphis. Good job. So it's just so fun. Oh, it's on your booty. Oh, can you feel it back there? She's like, mm, yeah, he can ride there. <laughs> uh. <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a good catch. She caught it right when I threw it to her. Yeah. Say, don't let the other two get it because they'll destroy it. Yeah. You would. Eleanor caught it the one time, and I was like, oh, no. I'm never letting this go. <laughs> uh, no, we don't really follow baseball, Helen. That's, that's not. Like, my brother played baseball. I like baseball. My brother played baseball from the time he was five years old all the way through high school. I pay attention to baseball. Do you? Yeah, the season just started. Oh, that's about all I know about baseball. <laughs> Baseball's too slow for me to watch. In real life, like in person, I like baseball. On TV, not so much. Memphis is like, and that was all the play I had in me. Are you going to do some Hot Wheels racing with Dan tonight? Uh, yeah. Of course we are. Of course we are. Who's the softest? Me. Yeah, are you the softest? Jamie's such a softie. <laughs> no, I think Eleanor's probably the softest because she's still puppies. Do you think so? I think, I think so. Kira is. I think Kira is softer uh, than Eleanor. Darn. Yeah. Now you got me thinking. Mem they're all really soft. Memphis has the softest ears. Yeah, he keeps saying that. I guess I never really paid attention to check. Yeah, Memphis has the softest ears. No, yeah, the dogs like are. Said, they're all really soft, so it's hard to kind right. of say. Definitely <laughs> not coarse. No, the dogs are not wolves. They are all purebred Siberian huskies. Those two are looking for a squirrel friend. <laughs> Come to Pittsburgh! We just drove by there twice. Mm -hmm. We actually stopped just outside of Pittsburgh and got Dan some uh, Pittsburgh Penguins merch from the tap. There is a pet expo in Pittsburgh. Oh, is it? Yeah, there's two, actually. I mean, it makes sense. It's a pretty big It's a big town. city, yeah. <laughs> so maybe, maybe next year we'll make it to the Pittsburgh Expo. 
I gotta find out who runs it. Hey, you're right. I called it a town, and that's like calling. Yeah, I don't know, we live uh, in a town. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's like a city. It's a city. It's a metropolis. Metropolis. <laughs> uh, Kira's like a silky cat. Memphis and Eleanor are fluffy and soft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still think Kira's the softest. I really do. <laughs> Somebody asked if we're camping anytime soon. I think a bunch of you have asked that. Yeah, when it's uh, not freezing at night. Uh, probably when we get back from Victoria. There's a chance we'll do a short trip before we leave for my dad's birthday. Because I know my mom wants to go up north. But it would be like a short two-night thing. We'd go up, go rock hunting, come back. The reality with camping is because of the outdoor temperatures uh, makes it... Like, like Greg and I were talking about is if it's really cold and it's really windy, I mean, right. if you're prepared for that, yeah, you dress for the occasion. Right. But, but if you're out camping and you have a campfire going, even though it's like blistering cold out, you're drawn to want to be out by that campfire. Yeah. When maybe you should just be in the camper playing cards on the cold, <laughs> yeah. on the cold day or whatever. Right. And then bundle up. And go outside and do your outside time, and then come back inside. But it's 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 kind of a bummer because you want to have that fire, yeah. Because you're camping, but then that draws you out. And if it's too cold, the fire doesn't really warm me up. So what I noticed is, uh, when there's not leaves on the trees, yeah, it's it's, it's windy. Cold. It's cold and windy. Yeah. yeah. So as soon as there's leaves, we'll probably be camping. Uh, Jim says the Rock has returned to WWE. No need to hunt for him anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> I Just thought that was any, funny. Any, no, oh, The Rock. The, oh, the Rock. I'm not usually looking up for The, the rock. rock. You're looking for those rocks. Oh, any rocks. I Are, look for any somebody rocks. asked if some campgrounds are open yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, a couple of them open this week. I saw on Facebook a couple of them are, are open. Are your dogs going to be blowing out their coats? Uh, they kind of already did once. I'm sure, I'm sure more is definitely coming. They shed all the time. All the time. <laughs> uh. I don't know. We'll probably have camping videos up at the beginning of, what, June? I would say by the beginning of June, we better have gone somewhere camping. Yeah, we better. Because, like, June is when the bugs come out, and then we kind of slow down on camping again because it gets yeah. hot. Although, I would like to do, like, Petoskey or Grayling again this year like we did last year in June. We could do something different like that. As long yeah. as it's not 80 million maybe, degrees. Maybe, uh... We could go for nostalgia, and we could go to where Greg used to live by Rose City there at the camp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rifle River. Yeah. Yeah. And, and camp for a couple of days on the river with our bike. Jamie's going <laughs> to most likely be helping Greg build his house for quite a bit this summer. So I know that the faster that we can get Greg helping him build his house done the faster Greg will be able to come and do more stuff with us. That's true, too. So, like, there might be some... Uh... Yeah, he might miss... Greg said, I would like to go to the Rifle River if there is time. Yes, and we if should take the kayaks. Time, yeah. And we should take the kayaks. And that would be... The one Olivia, the welcome season. to the... Mem or thank you for becoming a member. What did you say? Sorry. That would be later season, too. It would be later season, yeah. Like, I'm thinking fall for that one. Maybe. Or, I mean, I guess it could be early. I guess it'll just depend on when Greg can go. Right. But yeah, I would like to do that as well. That I think that would be super fun. Because mm -hmm. um, yeah, we, oh, is he out there? Do we have heater in the campener? Campener in the campener? Yes, we do. And air conditioning. Yes, yes we have both. We have heat and air conditioning in the camper. I, was he out there? We all no. We also have heated tanks. So like, when it's not freezing, freezing outside, we can make the RV work. But when it's freezing right night after night after night after night that makes things a little bit more difficult because you know you got to be careful with your water there's a lot of things you got to be careful with so sometimes that can be a little bit more difficult uh why not camp in may uh not that we're not going to camp in may we are driving all the way to victoria british columbia and we've already we were working on that trip today it looks like that we're going to be gone for like two to three weeks in the beginning of may <laughs> no because it'll be the last week in we're leaving april, the last week of april which is a week away so. right which two is a well, week away two weeks away but a week after that is yeah the last week. So yeah anyway, uh, oh we're gonna get it oh you know it's gonna be a good day that's how you know them oh. bellies is up oh and a big sigh bellies up big sigh yeah heck it might be nice enough in the wind look at the wind finally died down maybe we can w-a-l-k the dogs tonight mm. without freezing our ears off 
Does Greg still have the mohawk? No, that's Dan that has the mohawk. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, uh, I wish I could go on a vacation. Oh, stop wishing. Start doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three days. That's all I need. Yeah, vacation can be whatever you make of it. I was talking to somebody about that the other day, about how people always think, like, a vacation has to be this week-long thing. No, like, a vacation can be an hour. It can be a break from whatever you're doing. It can be you walking down to see something that you've never seen before. You gotta make the best of what you can while you can. Will you be recording building Greg's house? That will be fascinating to see. I think that there will probably be some footage at some point in time of Greg and his house building process. Uh, it'll probably go up on the vlog channel, of course. It's not going to go up here, so you make sure you're following Snow Dogs Vlogs so you can see that type of stuff. But I do think that there will be some footage of, of Greg and his his house building process, house finishing process. Part of the house is already done. It's like the finalizing part of it, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> Belly's up! I see you, Kira. He's not... Is he out there now? No, he's still not out there. It's like, hmm, Maybe. Maybe. Are there any more expos this year? Yep, we're going to the Victoria British Columbia Expo May 4th and 5th. So if you live in or around Victoria, Canada, or like the Vancouver area, you should definitely come see us. And then um, Novi Pet Expo is in December. Is Dan going to Canada too? Uh, I talked to him about it this morning. The plan is for Dan to go to Canada as well. Uh, I just got to figure out when he wants to fly in and when he wants to fly home. Because uh, Jamie and I are only like partially planned on this trip we know where we're gonna st we know where we're gonna be for the expo we know where we're gonna be just after it we don't know anything else we don't even know where we're staying on the way out there <laughs> uh, we're just kind of winging it <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go yeah, oh, we which... pretty much head west until we hit the water yeah yeah <laughs> which and then we'll go north which I think would be, no, Squirrel Friend's not out there. I keep looking for him. I thought maybe he would make an appearance for you guys. Kira sure thinks he's out there, but mm -hmm. he's, he's not out there. He's not. Although I watched that little fat gray squirrel out here yesterday, and I made the joke to everybody that was over for game night that we have to build them a little enclosure so they can eat and not get rained on. <laughs> We're going to have a whole, like, front porch squirrel vacation spot built. <laughs> no, I would love to do that, but the first time I see Charlie yeah. not, not running across the road anymore. Yeah, then we feel bad. Then I feel bad. Yeah. So That's the hard I'll, part. I'll feed him to take a look in the yeah. mouthy, I guess. But. We're driving across the U.S. Those videos again, there's going to be footage of that here. Like, I plan on doing videos here about us driving across the country and all that stuff. Um, but, like, the longer versions of those videos will be up over on the vlog channel. Yeah, soft top on the Jeep. When's the soft top going on the Jeep, Jamie? <laughs> well, because we weren't sure if we were going to actually take the RV and take an extended, pretty much 20-plus right. 20, 20 days away from home. Right. Uh, it's it, The Jeep haul is nicer with the hard top. Right. So... But now that we're pretty much determined we're not, we're not take taking the RV on this, camp, on this trip. Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, Hi, Alec. I think the hard top can come off soon. <laughs> hard top. Soft top on. Yeah. On a nice day, the dogs can go stick their heads yeah. out the window. Right? Want to go for a Jeep ride? <laughs> <laughs> right? Want to go for a Jeep ride? They're like, wait, what? For real? Eleanor's like, I think I've been in the Jeep enough this past month. Nah, it's never enough. Never enough. Never enough. It's different when you're in the woods. Thank you for taking... Yeah. It's more special. It is. Thank you for taking us on your trips. It's so cool. Oh, thanks. Airbnbs are so nice for the long hauls. They really are. Uh, I found a really cool place out in Victoria, and I found a cool place outside of Vancouver, and I think I'm going to book both of them today and just be done with it. And then um, sometimes I do the one-night Airbnbs as we drive across as well. So those are kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind staying at, on the, if you're just staying at a hotel or just taking a day, a long trip where you gotta stay somewhere. Right. Uh, I don't mind staying at the hotel, but when you gotta do it for an extended period of time, it's it's hard with dogs. Yeah, hotels. If you have dogs, it'd be different. Yeah. Ho if you had smaller dogs, it might Houses be just feel more comfortable. Like, yeah. it's just more comfortable to stay at a house. Plus, it's a lot easier to get... Um, three dogs into an Airbnb than it is to get three dogs into a hotel. Yeah, but the the 
not sketchy thing, but the sometimes uncomfortable thing, and I guess you just got to know what you're renting on an Airbnb, is that your neighbor might be living above you or something. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So, true. Very true. I guess it happens in hotels. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> definitely does. What do you think, Miss Ma'am? Holy cow, have we been live for an hour already? Maybe. Oh my goodness. Well, I said we'd be live for an hour, and it looks like we've been live for... About an hour. Look at all the look at all those emojis. They're so stinking cute. <laughs> uh, Eleanor, Eleanor, do you want to sing before before we end the live stream? Eleanor, hey Eleanor, can you sing? Eleanor, she's like, nah, forget it. <laughs> I went to Canada a few times when I was young. Only made it to America. I went to Canada a few times when I was young. Only made it to America once, about 40 years ago. Stayed overnight in Reno, Nevada. Three to four nights in Hawaii. Ooh, very cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, they are huskies. That'd be a trip. That would be a trip. <laughs> Thank you, Dan, for helping moderate. Is there always bedroom for both of you? Uh, usually. Hopefully. Otherwise, where would we sleep? On the floor. Usually when we get Airbnbs, we try to get... Uh, ones with multiple rooms because we don't all fit on a queen size bed with three dogs. I'm gonna curl up on a window sill one of these times. Right? <laughs> we even bought an air mattress. Yeah, you, you should go watch the vlogs and check out our double queen size bed that we had at this last Airbnb. That worked out pretty <laughs> good though. Are you guys gonna make more treat videos? Have you watched all the treat videos that are already up? Did you watch the most recent one of Kira's birthday cake? A lot of people missed that. I'm from New Brunswick, Canada. You would love Prince Edward Island. Yes, we would. We definitely That's would. Let's go the opposite direction. Well, yeah, but we could go there sometime, too. That's closer. <laughs> we should just go there. That's way closer, isn't it? Yeah. Closer. Prince Edward Island? Yeah. Closer than... I don't think it's 36 up. hours away. Probably not. That's, yeah. yeah, I don't think it's 36 hours miles. away. Yeah. That's all. 20... Long. Wait. 30... 3,400 kilometers? Yeah, I don't something know. something like that? It was a long... You know, depending on what math you... You guys need a custom double-wide king bed, right? <laughs> Do you ever worry about what the Airbnb owners will say if they see your videos? No, no. They, I, I I welcome anybody to watch or yeah any of the because like I they always know we're bringing three dogs. I never try to sneak dogs in or anything stupid no, like that. It doesn't make any sense to do that. The people in New Jersey, I sent pictures of the dogs beforehand because they asked me to, and then I sent them a couple of our videos, and now they actually follow our stuff. So they may even been he be in here watching. But yeah. the people from New Jersey were like super stoked that we stayed at their house, and you know once they found out who we were, they were all excited about it. So. Yeah, I, I... Most of the people give us really good reviews when we leave. Jamie always brings a vacuum cleaner. We always leave the houses cleaner than they are when we get there. We're also not big complainers. Like, at no, the last house, no. the toilet the chain broke. We fixed right. that. The... Was the New Jersey the one with the hot tub? No, no. That was the Virginia one. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jamie fixed the hot tub in Virginia. Yeah. You fixed the fence. You fixed the toilet. And not like, not like saying, like, fixed it like, oh, my gosh, these things were broken. But, like... Um, Maintenance from other people using it. Maintenance from other people know, using it, yes. And a lot of other residents don't maintain the dwelling. That's why a, a hotel is generally nice. You, you're rarely going to open up the front door and have it not work or right. not lock properly. And the Virginia you know? house, like when we rented it, it said on there that it was an older house and if we had any problems with anything to let them know because they weren't far away. But like you guys know, Jamie can fix absolutely anything. So there was no point in calling them and being like, hey, some of your fence panels have started to come loose. We just fixed you know, it. I was just thinking of something like Airbnbs are all the rage and stuff. Think of like all the boats that might not be in the water, but just dry docked on land, but are really nice boats. You can Airbnb them. You could Airbnb out no, like, really nice dry docked In boat. Vancouver, in, you know, there was an air, there was a. Like, I would love it because I hate the water. In, <laughs> in, the in Vancouver, there is a boat that you can Airbnb that stays at the dock. You can't take it out of the yeah. dock, but yeah, we could stay in yeah, a boat. I, know. I, uh, I don't want to, but. Right. <laughs> But, I mean, that's, it's kind of an interesting. Yeah, they're, I mean. A lot of. You murdered it. Oh, I thought that was the Rudolph. I'm like, no. 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 Uh, it's the Easter Bunny. A lot of towns and uh, cities are kind of hammering down on Airbnb. April so. says that she stayed in one. They stayed in a boat Airbnb. That's so cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. <laughs> and it makes sense when there's water around. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of cool. All right, I still have to make dinner tonight. 
Are you pulling out a fluff? Um, but before I leave, I do want to say, if you guys don't follow RFS Dan tonight over at youtube.com slash RFS Dan, Dan, please drop a comment down below to let people know. Um, he's doing Hot Wheels stream, Rainbow Road Racing. So um, I'm totally going to win. You guys should totally come and like root for my car. I don't know which of my cars is going to be in it, but I'm totally going to win because I said so. Okay, maybe not. Maybe everybody probably has the same chance. But at least I'm going to hope that I totally win because... Say, with that confidence <laughs> level, somebody better grease your tires for you. Yeah, Dan, you better grease my tires for me. <laughs> actually, I think we already determined if you put more stuff on it, it doesn't make it any better. Oh, my God, here's the best comment of the day. Oh, my God, you were my childhood. Do you still do dog safe baking? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. If you guys are just now rediscovering us because you're like scrolling through the shorts feed and these vertical lives are coming up and you like forgot that we existed because we were your childhood and you know, <laughs> you, you totally forgot who we were. We which make pins now. We, we make pins. <laughs> we, we have never stopped uploading videos. We've been doing this for over 14 years now. Uh, make sure to click that bell and turn on all notifications so YouTube won't actually notify you when we upload new videos, but maybe they will maybe they will but anyway i got a notification today too and i was i'm like how did i why am i getting notified for my own channel well that's a good thing while being logged into my own channel you you actually should be the first one to be notified. i should be that's a kind of a verification that they want right but back to the hot wheels thing um (laughs) if you guys want to watch the rainbow road hot wheel stuff i'll be in the chat for sure uh but dan if you don't know is the person who edits almost all of the content that you see from us. So huge thank you to Dan for helping us do that. Um, Some of you guys have met him at the expos and he does have his own YouTube channel. So if you guys wanna go and support what he does, you know, he posted those links as well. (laughs) Alex says, Jess, you were my midlife crisis. Yes, I got to be somebody's midlife crisis. Before, uh, I'll come back in here with the dogs in a minute, but we're gonna sneak down here real quick into my office. Look, Halloween stuff hanging everywhere. And I'm gonna show you guys my mini Hot Wheels cars collection. So I have the Elsa car. I got to get these hung up. And then I have another Elsa car. And then I have, what is this one? Oh, I have this red Dodge truck because I thought it was cool. Uh, where was the one I was looking for? I got this one the other day because I thought it was cool. I'm the person that buys cars because I think they're cool. Not really for any other reason. Um, I did find this one the other day, which is actually one of those Hot Wheel treasure hunt cars. So like, I don't know what that means, but that's what it is. And then I have. I yeah, Dan. You, Dan, you should know better. Um, I have this car. Dan can race this car for me because I have two of these. One of them I sent to him. Uh, this is. We also have two of these. We sent one of these to Dan as well, so Jamie could race a Jeep. What else do I have here? That's my blue car. Oh, here's my other ones. These all need a place to go. They're kind of just sitting here. But these were. These were my good cars. So there is a Shelby Mustang, 67 Shelby GT, because, you know, got to have my purple Shelby Mustang. Here is a Shelby Mustang, because I got to collect all the purple Shelby Mustangs. And then here is a Shelby Mustang, because I got to collect all the Shelbys. This is the, this is the 69 Shelby GT. And then I have a, whoops. And then I have a couple of um, Nightmare Before Christmas cars. That was a cool find. I found that one. Oh, there's a, not a Hot Wheels car, but there's Eleanor. And uh, this is also Eleanor. If you don't know, this is actually the car that Shelby was named after. And then that's why we named Eleanor Eleanor, because the car's name was Eleanor in the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. I also have this one. But those are my, those are my, I dropped one. Oh no, I dropped one. Those are, that's my little mini Hot Wheels collection. Thanks, Dan, for some of these I had before that, but. I can blame Dan for the rest of them. <laughs> do you have a Gone in 60 Seconds, Eleanor? Yes, I do. Yes. I don't know if you saw it. It's this It's this one. I have two of them. So I have that one. I have that one. I thought I had... There's. This is one that kind of looks like my Jeep. Focus. Focus. There we go. Yeah, so this one is out of the package, but this one kind of looks like my Jeep. It doesn't want to focus. But Oh, there we go. So that's kind of what my Jeep looks like. And then... This is a two-door version of Jamie's Jeep, the Rubicon, that I also have. And not all of these are Hot Wheels, of course. There's another. That's more like Jamie's Jeep now. That's a four-door version of Jamie's Jeep. Oh, there it is. You know, one of these days I should organize these things. There. 1967 Shelby GT500. That's Eleanor. 
a bigger version of Eleanor. Oh, and then I got this little white Jeep. And this is one of those, like, pullback cars, and they, and they go forward, and then that's the other Jeep. And then there's Jamie's badge of honor for doing Marblehead. There's all kinds of stuff in here. It's a mess. Don't mind it. And then my, my YouTube shorts light. Check that out. Isn't that cool? It lights up. Boom. I never turn it on. It just sits in here. And then my real guilty pleasure, which nobody ever really gets to see, is my Disney Dorables collection and my My Little Ponies. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have a problem with collecting things. I don't have a problem at all. Look, it's Bubbles. She's my favorite. I don't, I don't have a problem. You have a, you have a problem. I don't have a problem. And a Memphis plushie. Okay, okay, okay. Go, go, go. Get out of my office. <laughs> uh. Dun, 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 dun. Hi. What does this one say? Uncle Yukon says, I had a blue 67 Mustang Fastback GT390 four-speed. That's so cool. Jamie had a 1980 Mustang. Mustang hatchback. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Like, probably the ugliest Mustang they ever made. Because it was made in the 80s. <laughs> like, there was only three or four years that they made it. Look Looked like that, yeah. Yeah. Like, the hatchback wasn't horrible, but that year, the first, maybe it wasn't even the first years of the hatchback. It was just the 80s. The yeah. The early 80s. It was just... That was your first car, right? It was a 1980 Mustang? It was. Nice. My first car was a 1985 full-size Dodge Ram van. A brown full-size Dodge Ram van. Look that up. V8? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a V8. Van. It was a van. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know what happened to it? I blew it up. I dropped the transmission out of it. <laughs> yeah, pretty close. And then you yeah. know what happened? I got a 1986 Buick Park Avenue. And guess what happened to that one? Yeah, I up. dropped the transmission out of it. But then I got a 1990 Dodge Dakota, and you know what I did to that one? I broke that chain inside of the transfer but I, case. But realistically, <laughs> unless, you're, unless you're buying new cars all the time, which most people don't. <gasps> Uncle uh, Yukon says I still have my 1974 Dodge van. That's awesome. No, really? That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I still, that, if I, that's one of the quote-unquote classic cars I'd still like to have is an old van. I don't know why. Because my parents had vans the entire they time I was growing up. Don't really. Uh-uh. Uh no. Oh, no, Not and I love van. old vans. I just think they're the coolest thing. My dad had a balloon van. It was a it was a Dodge oh, Ram van. A, it was a balloon yeah. chasing van. Yeah, yeah, it was a Dodge Ram van, and it was it was an extended van, like the ones that you would see back in the early '90s that would like be the church vans that would hold like 15 people. Um, the my dad had one that had an air balloon pointed on it, and it was a balloon chasing van. They would use it to go pick up the hot air balloons during the it, it was so cool. That was a cool van. Uh, they're all in the window now. All I see is butts. <laughs> I don't think he's out there, though. No, you're just smelling the wonderful fresh air, huh? Like, oh, man, it smells so good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Like I said, later on tonight, Dan's doing a live stream at, uh, I don't remember what time, because... Two hours from now. It's two hours from now, so 7 o'clock Eastern. Yep. Okay, so the same time as hockey, I think. Uh, so anyway, if you guys want to check that out, you should definitely go check that out. Does he know he has a hockey game tonight, too? Yeah, he live streams during his hockey games all the time. He has multiple TVs like we do. Yeah. So usually and the I hockey... I if you're not streaming or can't yeah. hear it... No, it's usually off. Trouble. Yep. Yeah. As or, long as he can watch it. Or we're all in the comments telling him the score of his yeah, game. Because... Right. Right. I guess yeah. it's not really that important because you're not really in the playoffs. Yeah. Holly, thank you for the super emoji. What's Eleanor doing? Standing right there. And Memphis is getting some water. And Kira's over there looking out the window. Because she's like, I gotta see what's going on out here. And check for Squirrel Friend. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and end today's live stream so that I can go run to the store and get the stuff to make dinner. Which we're having um, homemade mac and cheese. Oh, are you gonna still do that? Yeah, isn't that what you wanted? Yeah, Unless you want something else. I mean, we had a late lunch, so I guess we could have a... I mean, that sounds like a light dinner. So. I mean, I can make it tomorrow. No, that sounds good. I like your homemade uh -huh. macaroni. Uh -huh. Unless you don't want to. I mean, I never want to cook dinner, so if you <laughs> give me the excuse to not do it, I'm not going to do it. Uh, well, we could just starve then. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll make that I'll eat, stuff. I'll eat cookies. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Uh, 
the TikTok or the guy ate a whole box of Oreos or something. Yeah, the whole pack of Oreos. You no, know, Thin Mints. Thin Mints, yeah, it was. It was Thin Mints. Yeah. <laughs> Sucked down a whole pack of Thin Mints like a snake. Uh, the adulting and having to feed yourself every yeah. the hardest thing. Oh, that's what it was. It was a TikTok about... You know, explain to me my explain to me why marriage is hard. And the guy said, because you have to figure out what to eat for dinner every day, every single day. And he's not wrong. That is the hardest part of being an adult. And then he he also said it's not just people that are married. It is also you know single people too. Right. But but it's 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 more difficult when you're married because you always want to have that iconic meal. As right. A, and his joke was is when his wife is away. He doesn't ask anybody or anything because he's just feeding himself. And he'll if he wants a whole pack of Thin Mints for dinner, that's what he's going to eat. Right, exactly. Kind of joke. Yeah, so that's what made it funny. But isn't that true, though? It's true. I hate having to figure out what to make for dinner every day. The other day I saw another video like that, and the girl was like, "How come?" she goes, how come it's, it is the year 2024 and we don't just have little pills we put in our mouth to feed us every day? Bloop, there you go. We're done. There's your meal. It's done. Now you don't have to worry about it. It's over. Just take this pill every single day. You get all your nutrients in it, well, all I your stuff. I mean, <laughs> Cooking is hard. Right? Nece yeah. I don't necessarily want to be rooted to the earth and not be able to move. But Like in the Matrix? It, you, no, but like <laughs> a tree. But isn't it kind of nice that a tree just gets all of its, yeah. uh, all of its nutrients and just, the, you know, just being there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Doesn't have to reach out and grab a bunch of things. Right? Jim's having load po loaded pasta salad. See, that sounds good, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should do that because it's almost food time. What's everybody's eating tonight? Yeah, what's everybody <laughs> having for dinner tonight? No, you're having... We're having mac and when's, cheese. When's our next live stream? I don't know. Ooh, that might be 30 days or so because we're going to go... Oh, maybe we'll live stream maybe, at the yeah. end. Yeah, maybe we'll live... We say that every time and we never it's do. It's just hard. Yeah. It's very hard. Maybe we'll live stream while it's we're gone, but it doesn't necessarily have to be at the event. At the event. Yeah. Yeah, we almost did that last time, and that probably would have worked out. Ooh, Alex having beef stew. That's funny, because I told Eric yesterday I was going to make you beef stew, because I have all those potatoes and carrots and onion and celery. You made, and You made hamburger cheeseburger soup Yeah, whatever. cheeseburger. I made cheeseburger soup last night. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, and it's gone. You guys ate delicious. it all. <laughs> I knew I should have doubled it when I, I told Greg that. I'm like, we should just get the eight-quart Instapot out, and we should just double this now, because mm -hmm. every time I make it, you guys eat all of it. Which is good. Do you put bacon bits in your mac and cheese? Yeah, what's mac and cheese without bacon bits? Well, you better buy more of them because I think we use the bacon bits in your cheeseburger soup. Yeah, what's cheeseburger <laughs> soup without bacon bits? Bologna sandwiches. Mm, I'd eat that. Jamie will not eat that. Yeah, I might if there if you do a fried bologna sandwich like egg. you normally do or whatever, mm. I might eat one. You might eat one bite and then be reminded how much you hate bologna. I think, I'd, I think I would eat the whole thing, but then when I was done, I'd be like, yeah, it's not what I want. <laughs> I won't eat that again for a while. <laughs> uh, but every once in a while, it sounds all right. I can see you're like, mm, yeah, maybe not. I like bologna, but I also didn't grow up eating it every single day. <gasps> what do you have? Is that a Peeps? <laughs> Grilled yeah, chicken. She's going to unstuff it. Yep, she is. Yeah, grilled chicken's easy. Somebody's having catfish. I well, do like I like smoked catfish. Mmm, really chicken, onion, and peppers over vinaigrette pasta salad, which is a which is a, over a green salad. Ooh, bologna and mustard. Yes, bologna and mustard is the best, literally oh, the best. Dude. And I don't like American cheese, but I will only eat bologna with American cheese. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Pork chops and corn on the cob. I don't know. Pork chop is weird. Will you film making your mac and cheese, please? Yeah, this is really quick. You could just make a little short. I haven't put that up on the Snow Dogs cooking channel, and I don't have a video for that channel anytime soon, so I, I probably could. I mean, probably could. And it's really easy. It's to make. really easy, and it's Instapot mac and cheese, so it's like super easy. Yeah, I guess so you have to have an Instapot. Well, yeah. Or a pressure cooker, but that would be a lot more difficult. F. Vance says, what is something you made 
way it too much of motorcycle. way too much of at the deli that you will never eat again. Oh, I don't have Ooh, anything. At the deli? No, I think everything we made at the deli was like good comfort food. Yeah, so I would totally eat everything from the deli. And we still do make a lot of the stuff from there, the soups, the sandwiches. Yeah, I think like the TBT and the Hanley Sammy. I want just pretzel bread so bad. Or, something, or the taco salad. Some we make the biggest, taco salad all the time. Right. But then we're some of our biggest sellers. Right. So that I would assume we made that most frequently. Even the egg salads and the ham salads. I would I would eat all of it. All of it, yeah. yeah. All of it. I miss it all of it. I only really don't like bologna is because we literally ate it every single day. Yeah. And we, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We only ever ran bologna once in a while at the deli. It wasn't something we kept at the deli because it wasn't a big seller. No, it's not that big of a comfort. Food. No. I mean... No. So, Mac and cheese with pulled pork sandwich. That sounds good. Egg salad. Oh, yeah. That tomorrow. And that's what I was thinking is if you make the mac and cheese, it can be a side for, mm -hmm. since we had a later lunch. Right. It can be a side for a meal. Tomorrow. Yeah. The next day. Tomorrow. We may have to do this thing all over again where we have to figure out what we're going to eat. We should. Bring, up, bring back the deli. What do you guys think is the worst <laughs> food in the world? Bananas. <laughs> The worst food in the world? Like, I know I'm weird because I, I just don't like bananas, but like, I don't know. Like, you don't like mango or that? Or I don't anything. like mango. We had this conversation the other day and I come to the conclusion that I don't like most fruits and vegetables. Yeah. I like some, but... Yeah. Ooh, somebody said green beans. Avocado? Ooh, I'd agree with you on avocado. See, but I don't like bananas either and it's a very similar texture. I do like sardines. I definitely do. Green beans are okay. Bananas taste like tires. <laughs> Organ meats. Liver. Eh, liver's not horrible. I don't like mangoes. I don't like bananas. The herb that tastes like soap. Cilantro? Anchovies? Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, there's some of them passion fruits or like uh, yeah. Japanese fruits that taste... You know, Whatever like, Eric um, made yesterday was amazing. Those date balls that he made, those were so good. Was it a, yeah, it was, yeah, a it was dates and cherries and walnuts and coconut and something else. And he said there were only 74 calories per serving. And they were full of, like, all the good stuff for you. I don't know. He figured it out, so he told me. Uncooked Brussels sprouts. <laughs> yeah, that might be. I tried that once. Not very good. Oh, I do like cucumbers. Oysters? I do not like oysters. I, d I definitely Uncooked don't. oysters. I don't like oysters at all. If I, if I eat an oyster, I think it's really got to be nice and warm. I don't like oysters. And salty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Finally, a normal streamer. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what, oh, look, it's a boy. What is normal? Uh, yeah. <laughs> crab cakes? I like crab cakes. I, I like seafood, cake. though. I like, I really like seafood. I know a lot of people. I've had octopus. I like octopus. But I like seafood, so. Yeah. Your See, dogs I knew are I, big. I knew I'd get people hungry if we started talking food. Your dogs are big. <laughs> They're smaller than you might think. That one there's only 41 pounds. 42 pounds, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. uh, 42 pounds. Ugh. See, I used to never like sardines, but then I tried the mustard Mustard sardines, sardines with Ritz can, crackers. With a Ritz cracker. Yep. And I went, ah! actually not bad yeah i do like sardines but like olives i'm still not a i love olives olive. see and i love olives yeah. those olives that we had at the expo oh, the lemon ones oh my gosh those were so good i should have tried a lemon one. so good so was good that the one with the pickle in it no that was the pickle olive those were the there was a lemon there was olive? a lemon one yeah i should have tried it I'm yeah really it, like it was really good those were all really good i wonder if i can order those online <laughs> right Memphis is falling asleep. Oh, did you fall asleep? All right, all right, all right. You sound like Joy from Inside Out. I have heard that quite a few times. Yeah. Uh, bing bong! Yeah, I've heard that quite a few times. A lot of people not, think I... I was going to say, you better not mimic that part <laughs> of the movie. You can do any other part of Except the movie. Except for the saddest part of the movie. Right. We're going to make it! <laughs> this is the saddest part of the... It is the saddest part of the movie. Go save Riley! That's what Bing Bong says, though. I was going to say... Take her did, to the moon for me. You did a really good... Uh, Make everybody cry. 
right? You should just do voice acting. I, everybody says that. I don't even know how to get into voice acting. You know somebody who knows somebody who knows. Know somebody who knows somebody. Uh, the movie is Inside Out. Joy is the character from Inside Out. Which Inside Out 2 is coming out, and I watched a clip the other day of a guy that went to the Disney thing or whatever, and uh, they got to watch the first 30 minutes of Inside Out, and he said that, in his opinion, this is now the best Pixar franchise since Toy Story. That that's how good the first 30 minutes of Inside Out 2 was. Is that the one that's yeah. coming out? Yes, okay, where okay. they have anxiety, they add more emotions because she's... I just recently saw a short little trailer, or maybe yeah. just a preview to it or something. Yeah. And I looked and I'm like, yeah. Uh-huh. I love it. the movie Inside Out. I really, really like that movie. And Pixar's fun. They have a creativity room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creativity. <laughs> Girls, what are you doing? Best, best Disney princess is Nala. Do you think so? The best Disney princess? Oh, I'm such a sucker because I, I still, uh, I don't know. I don't know who my best Disney princess. I like all the, Di it's Elsa. <laughs> it's Elsa and Anna. Elsa's not the princess anymore, though, because she became the queen. It's Coronation Day! Uh, I don't know what goes in a black olive sandwich, but I heard of them black olive burgers. Oh my gosh, the olive burger that we had from the Yek. Oh, oh, as soon as that place burger. opens, we no. need to drive 75 miles to go get an olive burger from the Yek because that was the best burger I had all year last year. I can't believe that we have driven by that place for how long have we known each other? 30 years? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Made out of sardines. I think I remember that now that I heard it. Worcestershire but... sauce. We have to go to, yes, we will. Yeah, we have to go, go to the Yuck and get the olive burgers. Yes, an olive burger. It's mainly just a... Olive, olive. burgers are a Michigan thing. They yeah, were started like in Michigan. mayonnaise yeah. that you just put on the burger. Yeah. And that's your... I mean, I think you cook some olive maybe into the burger. Or some, some people do. On. I don't know. But it's mainly just the, the dressing mm -hmm. and the olive dressing on top. Yeah, it'd it be really so good. good. It, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it was it was different, and it's like, what? No, that's yeah. not gonna be. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Wait, where? But they're also from the same people that deep fry Reuben. Uh, yeah, I do want to try their deep fried Reuben as well. Yeah, I, you heard me right. They <laughs> deep fry a Reuben. Mmm, deep fried Reuben. It's like the first time you hear deep fried ice cream. They have deep fried grilled ham and cheese too. That's just uh, that, uh, that makes more sense than a Reuben. I don't know. That sounds Maybe. amazing. It's a, uh, deep fry all the things, right, Eleanor? <laughs> all the things. No, that's as soon as you hear deep fry, that's supposed to be like, maybe I should eat a salad. Ah, salad? <laughs> Who needs that green stuff? <laughs> salad. Deep fry Oreos, right? Deep fry all yeah, the things. Yeah, deep fry Oreos. We can go to Minnesota, and we can go to their state fair, and we can eat deep fried butter. What? They can't do that. Yeah, they do that in Minnesota. At the state fair, you can get deep fried butter. I watched the YouTuber that ate the deep fried butter. Look it up. It's deep fried butter. <laughs> Fancy! Somebody else said deep fried butter. That Tell does me. not make sense. It doesn't sound good, but I would try it. it just in my in, because butter is an oil, I, my brain. Well, you my, batter it, and then obviously, you obviously, and you would probably freeze the little butter chunks so that they don't melt in the. Maybe they melt a little bit into the. Which makes sense, right? But, but still, it just—I hear it like if you were to say deep fried air, right? Somebody said <laughs> nothing there. What are you eating? Just more oil? Somebody says, "Are you avoiding making dinner by keeping on the stream?" Well, if I talk long enough, then I won't have time to go to the store, and then Jamie will be forced to eat ramen noodles for dinner. Ramen noodles. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't spoil inside out too for me. Right. Mm -hmm. It has to be frozen butter. It probably is frozen butter. Roll it in cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. Deep fried French toast. I'd eat that. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right. For real now, I'm actually going to end the live stream. <laughs> all right, you guys. We hope you guys enjoyed today's live stream. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Again, if you guys want to see what we've been up to, you should check us out over at youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs where we upload videos Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, every single week. Um... If I do end up making mac and cheese tonight, maybe I will film it for you guys and put it up on the Snow Dogs Cooking channel because if you don't know, we have another channel called Snow Dogs Cooking that 
We like upload and then don't upload and then upload and then yeah. don't upload. It's kind of a thing. And I promise you we'll never deep fry butter. I don't promise anything. <laughs> uh, I made a BLT on a spinach wrap for lunch today. Mm hmm. I want a BLT. Oh, yeah, it's almost. Speaking of the fact that I have to make dinner, you know, Culver's now has new thick cut bacon that we haven't tried yet. Get it like a pound of bacon and bring it home. We'll no, I just want a Culver's bacon. Deluxe burger with bacon on it. Oh. That's all. Oh, Kira, I'll come around. Kira's like, forget you. See you later. So, and like I said, if you guys want to join us later over on RFS Dan's channel, uh, he can post a link here. He's doing the Rainbow Road Hot Wheels live stream. You guys should go over there and totally root for my car to win because I need all the luck possible because I haven't won yet. So, you know. <laughs> Dan says just go to Culver's. <laughs> right. I know I got people rooting for me. I guess I'm... Oh, yeah. I guess your car's in there, too. You, you have a car in there, too. I don't know which car of yours he's racing, but um, Dan always tries to pick the fast... Depending on the tracks, if they're doing bowling or the Rainbow Road or the drag racing, Dan tries to pick the cars that fit the what's going on. He is... Uh, he's very he's good at it. He's at least my... Pit crew captain. He's your pit crew captain? Yeah, so he's, he's that's definitely, if he wants to, if you don't want to quit. I mean, yeah, Dan has to stay the pit crew captain for Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll let him make You sure. did really good in the bowling the one the one week. You got like nine pins, I think. I thought you were actually going to take it. Yeah, and wasn't that the car that kept going sideways? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. It was your Jeep, I think. Yeah, it was, yeah. Dan says, it. got it. Yeah. <laughs> he, he knows. He's like, we smashed things? We're taking the Jeep today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to be fast? We'll take a Mustang. Your, your, what is it? Your, 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 how the heck do you say that know, car uh, name? Yeah. I don't know what it is called. I'll have to get a different car. Yeah. But yeah. it's got to be that. Yeah, I have easy ones like a Challenger and a Charger yeah. and a. I'll get that night. If anybody finds one of them ugly 1980 Mustangs in red. There you go. I, We're I'm looking for an ugly 1980s Hot Wheel Mustang in red for Jamie. <laughs> Send it to Dan, though. Don't send it to us. <laughs> that would be my task. Yeah, right? Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, you guys. We hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, live stream, as always. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Goodbye, party. <laughs>